Say goodbye, Caroline Rose. Well, I remember Why are we let go of XC4? Let me tell you in this video why after one year of using this camera I will let it go. Hello there, my name is uh, Tudor Matescu and in this video I want to tell you why I will let go of XE4. From two months ago I am thinking to let go of XE4 because I have X Pro 3 and X100V. With X100V I am doing now the table above shot. So I really have those two cameras and uh, those two cameras X100V and X Pro 3 are cameras with a soul. The only advantages that this XE4 was able to offer me it was the screen, the normal tilting screen and the fact that I was able to use X Pro 3 and this camera at events having two cameras with interchangeable lenses. So especially I was using XE4 and X Pro 3 by night at events that are happening at night. XE4 with the 35mm f1.4 lens and X Pro 3 with Viltrox 56mm f1.4 lens. But because I also have uh, Sony and the uh, small Samyang 45mm f1.8 lens, which I'm feeling myself now, I discovered that this small Samyang, it is better in my opinion than the APS-C 35 f1.4 lens from Fujifilm. It is better regarding image quality because of the depth of field being a full frame lens, it is smaller and the AF it is very very good. So my idea it is to try to replace XC4 with Sony A7C and I'm thinking about Sony A7C because of the videography features but also because it's a small full frame camera that I will be able to use it with small full frame lenses, third party lenses like Samyang, Voigtlander, manual focusing lenses and so on. So at first when I was looking at Sony A7C I was very disappointed. The EVF, the flip screen that I really don't like for street photography and so on. But being a full frame camera, having those good uh, videography features that I can use in my studio, I'm thinking again if I will sell this camera, maybe I will be able to have the budget for Sony A7C and use Sony A7C with X Pro 3 by night. X Pro 3 with the Viltox 56mm f1.4 and Sony A7C with Samyang 45mm f1.8. So this will be a very very good street photography package when I want to use two cameras but also it will offer me a lot of creativity I will be able to do street photography projects, video photography projects and so on. And again I'm not putting my hand too often on XC4. Why? Because again X Pro 3 it's doing the job. X100V it's doing the job. And I've got very, very used with this screen. I really like it more in street photography. So this is the reason. The first reason why I bought XC4 was because of the screen. I believed, no, no. This screen, it is very strange. People will observe me. It is so strange, you know. But after getting used to it, I feel it is more natural. I really don't like anymore this kind of screen for street photography. Yes, it is useful, it is okay, but the movement is not fluent. What I can tell you. And also the screen, the touch to shoot screen, it's not working. I like more the JX9 screen. Yes, it can be used like this, but also the touch to shoot, it's working very, very well. So in conclusion, I uh, really feel I need to sell XC4. It doesn't fulfill any kind of photography or videography needs for me at this time, 
But again, again, I want to tell you that I'm thinking to buy when it will be an occasion Fujifilm XC2S. I had that camera for over a year and uh, it was a beautiful camera. And I really think it was greater than this camera. The ergonomics were extraordinary, extraordinary. It was a baby X-Pro3. The colors, extraordinary colors, extraordinary colors. And also the AF was pretty good, but my mistake was that I've used the 35 meters f1.4 lens that it is known not to have a good AF, an acceptable AF on newer X-Pro3 cameras, X-T4, X-T3 and so on, but on the older cameras, the AF, it's making some problems. And I had that lens on XC2S and I had no other lenses on XC2S. And now I'm thinking, well, how the 27mm Mark II will act on XC2S and also how it will act the 35mm F2 lens. So the XC2S with the 35mm F2 lens, it is an, a more attractive package for me at this time because it can be called a really an X-Pro3 baby with good AF and very, very good colors. Those first colors of Fujifilm cameras. So this is why I've decided to sell XC4. But again, I must tell you, it's not a bad camera. It is a very good camera and I'm still recommending it for who wants a better sensor and better resolution. But again, I'm thinking at that Fujifilm XC2S camera. So thank you for watching. I'm still recommending this camera for who wants very good AF, very good image quality, very good videography specs that you can use just for short videos because this camera it is overheating. And this is it. Thank you for watching and uh, talk to you soon. Please subscribe to my channel and be sure to check the links from the comments and from the description for more photography goodies. Thank you and uh, bye bye. Together.